Okay, in this video we're going to demonstrate how to replace the, the wedge pushing spring on your CS88, 89 or CS79 underpinner. Now to start with you're going to need these parts. Additional to the spring you're going to need some allen keys, a 2.5mm, a 3mm a and also a 7mm uh, wrench or spanner. The first step is to remove the existing spring on your CS88 or 89 underpinner. So underneath you can see we need to pull the spring back first and there is a screw that we need to loosen off to pull off the uh, cord. So once we loosen that the long screw and then we um, and you'll see that the end of the spring is connected to it so there's a hole in the end of the spring we will disconnect that and then we've taken that off now the next step is to remove the actual coil and the axle for the spring so we're using a 7 mil allen key um, sorry a 7 mil spanner to hold it one side and the allen key to loosen the other side once you've removed the allen key from the middle of the axle of the spring you'll then be able to bring out the uh, the old spring with the axle and drop that out and then we'll move to the next step which is um, removing the uh, spring okay so here's the axle and the spring for the one that we've just removed off the machine and now what we need to do is remove the spring from the axle and you'll see that it's quite tightly wound so what we're going to have to do is to unwind that off the axle so there's a bit of a technique to that so we have to manually unwind it there's just a little bit there it's not a lot and that'll free up the axle that we need now that we've got the axle freed we can now put that onto the new spring so now with the new spring um, it'll be tightly wound and caught in the coil so it's going to be hard to fit the axle into the middle of it so we have to unwind it slightly before we put the axle in so let's show you how we do that there's a little trick or technique to this what we're going to do is create a bit of a loop at the start of the spring just to unwind it a little bit like so and then continue to unwind it but not all the way leave yourself a loop at the end so we'll keep going so with that loop at the end once we get there we'll be able to put that around the axle Okay, and now we can we can rewind it back onto the axle, the brand new spring. And now we're ready to put that onto the uh, machine. Okay, the first step is to grab your nylon cord and the um, screw at the underneath your underpinner. And on the end of that there's a little ring on the end of your nylon cord yeah we've got the screw now we're going to connect that back up to the um, the hole into the ring which has got your axle already threaded through it and we just connect that through so now we are screwing the screw into the base of the wedge pusher and uh, threading that through first tightening it up Okay, that's all now firm and tight 
Now we can push the um, axle for the spring through and the screw through. I'm changing my angle here so we can see. No, not a good angle. Try and see it from here. So you can see we've pushed the, the screw through the axle and now we can tighten it up using the 7mm spanner and the allen key on the other side. For the nut. Okay, and now you should find that we're done. We've got a new spring on the wedge pusher, which will push nice and firmly into the uh, cartridge load loaded wedges for your CS88 and 89. So that's how you replace the spring on your CS88, 89 and also your CS79 underpinner.